Intel shook things up when they decided to change the way they named their processors and rolled out the Arrow Lake series. At the top of the lineup is the Core Ultra 9285K, their flagship model. But even before it hit the market, Intel admitted it wouldn't outperform the Core i9-14900K. Now that we've got all the benchmarks and real-world performance data, it's clear they were right. So what's actually different about the Arrow Lake processors? And more importantly, which one should you choose? So let's take a look at the specs. The Raptor Lake Refresh and Arrow Lake processors might seem alike with their 8 performance cores and 16 efficiency cores, but they have some key differences under the hood. One big change with Arrow Lake's Core Ultra is that this time it drops hyper-threading. This technology is like giving each CPU core the ability to do two things at once. Normally, each core handles one task at a time. Hyper-threading creates a second virtual worker for each physical core, which allows the core to switch quickly between two tasks or work on parts of two tasks simultaneously. This doesn't double the speed, but it makes the CPU more efficient, especially with programs designed to take advantage of it, like video editing, gaming, or multitasking. So the Core Ultra 9285K can run 24 threads, while the older i9-14900K can handle 32. Still, that doesn't tell the whole story. The E-Cores in Arrow Lake are stronger than those in the Raptor Lake chips, and faster base clock speeds help keep the performance competitive. On the power side, both chips have a 125-watt base TDP. When they're pushed to their limits, the Core Ultra boosts to 250-watt, while the i9-14900K goes slightly higher at 253 watts. The real improvement with Arrow Lake is efficiency. Intel says the Core Ultra uses up to 80W less power during heavy use, which should mean cooler temperatures overall. Of course, we'll have to run our own test to see how it holds up in real-world conditions. Now at first glance, you might think the Core Ultra 9 285K is just another incremental update. But Intel's decision to move away from the Core i9 naming convention and embrace a new series name wasn't made lightly. Arrow Lake, the new flagship, inherits a legacy of high expectations, particularly since the last i9 models became a benchmark for content creators and enthusiasts. The Core Ultra 9 285K introduces a quad tile-based design, which draws inspiration from Intel's advancements in mobile chip architecture. Instead of making one giant piece of silicon, they divide it into four smaller pieces called tiles. Think of it like a puzzle. Each tile is a part of the whole chip, and together they work as one. This modular approach allows for a smaller overall package, which makes it more efficient and versatile. The inclusion of an NPU is a first for Intel in this space that enables on-chip AI acceleration for tasks like image recognition and predictive analysis. Furthermore, the architecture features brand new cores, eight Lion cores designed for peak performance and 16 SkyMont efficient cores for low power multitasking operations. But all these matters when you get the desired stable performance. So let's jump to that. Modern processors are way better than they used to be. These two processors are made for people who need serious performance. But the Intel Core Ultra 9285K is much more efficient. It uses a newer manufacturing process, going from 10 nanometers to TSMC's 3 nanometer process. This makes it use less power while still performing at the same high level, and it even does some tasks a little faster. To get a better view, we'll see the benchmark results from Club 386. When it comes to productivity, Intel's Core i9-14900K excels in tasks like 7-zip compression. Due to its additional threads, it delivers a 12% faster performance compared to the Core Ultra 9 285K. That said, AMD's latest offerings still dominate in this specific test. In Y-Cruncher, Intel's focus on architectural improvements shines through. The Core Ultra 9 285K, with its stronger E-Core design, outpaces its predecessor by reducing computation times by 7%. In the Geekbench 6 benchmark, the Core Ultra 9 285K manages to take a narrow lead, showing a 3% advantage in single core and a slight 1% edge in multi-core results. While these margins aren't huge, they help solidify Intel's position at the top. In Cinebench 2024, the Core 9 285K doesn't just edge out the 14900K, it dominates. 
The Arrow Lake processor delivers an impressive 6.6% increase in single-core speed and an 11.8% boost in multi-core workloads, a clear improvement over its predecessor. Intel delivers on its efficiency claims as well. The Core Ultra 200 operates with 17% lower power consumption at its standard 125 watt by 250 watt settings. This improvement is evident even in gaming scenarios. For example, while running Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the processor achieves virtually identical performance to its predecessor while consuming significantly less power during gameplay. However, there's an alternative worth considering. By adjusting the 14,900K's power limit in the BIOS, you can replicate this power efficiency without losing much of its performance capabilities. Additionally, both chips draw the same amount of power while idle, where your system spends the majority of its time, which means the real-world efficiency gains may be more situational than transformative. Arrow Lake chips are noticeably cooler, running 13.8% lower in temperature than Intel's other CPUs, including the 14,900K. Sure, they don't quite match the cool factor of AMD's new Zen 5 processors, but sticking close to 80 degrees Celsius keeps them from slowing down, even when you push them hard with demanding software like Cinebench 2024. The Intel Core Ultra 9 285K is priced at $599, matching the launch price of the Intel Core on 914900K, which debuted nearly a year ago. However, the i9-14900K is now frequently available at a much lower price, currently sitting around $450. This discount seems to be a move to clear out inventory ahead of the release of the newer model. So, which one is better? The Intel Core Ultra 9285K focuses heavily on efficiency rather than dramatic performance gains. While it doesn't deliver significant leaps in overall power, it's a clear choice if your priority is AI-based computing. The chip also brings modest improvements for rendering tasks, which makes it a decent upgrade for specialized workflows. However, for users already running a modern platform, the benefits may not be compelling enough to justify an upgrade. Intel hasn't officially confirmed support for the new LGA 1851 socket beyond its current generation. However, there's speculation that this socket could also work with releases planned for 2025 and 2026. This would align with Intel's past strategy, where the 13th and 14th generations shared the LGA 1700 socket. If these rumors hold true, adopting LGA 1851 now gives you immediate access to Thunderbolt 5 and ensures better future compatibility. On the other hand, choosing the 14900K processor means you'll likely need to budget for a new motherboard when the next upgrade cycle rolls around, potentially canceling out the $130 you might save today. So it's all your call now. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.